We are set to go. Okay. Hare Krishna, everyone. Good evening. A very warm welcome to all of you for this Sunday evening, Bhakti Briksha week 28 class. So today's class is extremely special as I'm sure many of you would have got a hint of what we are going to do today. And uh, I hope you all would have seen the video also, which we had sent yesterday. Mm, Tulsi, uh, Tulsi Arti or something like that, Mataji, no? Yes, yes. So let's uh, begin our class with prayers to Srila Prabhupada. I offer my respects to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedan Swami Prabhupada, who is very dear to Lord Krishna. O oh, Spiritual Master, I offer my respects to you. You are servant of your Guru, Saraswati Goswami. You are kindly preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya and delivering the Western countries. We'll recite the Panchatattva Mantra. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gauri Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Mahamantra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai So let's, without wasting any time, let's start with our Tulsi uh, Puja, Tulsi prayers. How? So the purpose of the class is all of you are aware of Tulsi Maharani. You're all, all, I'm sure many of you would be having Tulsi in your own house. Many of you also would be offering prayers to, to her, offering lamps to her. But as we are slowly progressing in our spiritual life, as many of you are seriously practicing Krishna consciousness and many of you are even chanting 8 to 10 rounds or some of you are chanting even 16 rounds. So now it is, I think, high time that we start learning the proper process of how we should offer our prayers, how we should you know, do Tulsi RP. So there is a proper method in which we should do this Tulti Arti. So all of us, all of us definitely morning, evening, we offer our lamps to uh, Tulsi. We keep a lamp at Tulsi. But then there is a specific process which we must follow. And the purpose of this class is to teach you that proper method of how to do Tulsi Arti. Right? So I request all of you to please be attentive. And uh, once we are done with the process, we will definitely take question answers. So you can watch the entire process. So a brief introduction on Tulsi Maharani. So why Tulsi plant is so special? So it is said that Tulsi is very special because she is very dear to Lord Krishna. And she is a pure devotee of Lord Krishna. And when we serve her, when we worship her, she gives her bhakti. She gives her love for Krishna. So by worshipping her, we, you know, obtain love for Krishna or we obtain that bhakti very fast. So we make advancement in spiritual life very fast if we are properly worshipping Tulsi. So if we, you know that how when we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we are, you know, we are approaching directly Radharani and we are telling her that please recommend my name to Lord Krishna because she is the highest, the purest devotee. So if she recommends our name, then Krishna immediately turns towards us and accepts us. 
So in similar way, Tulsi also is a very pure devotee of the Lord. And if we approach her, similarly, she will also make our process of reaching Krishna very fast. She will also help us in advancing spiritually very fast. She will, how pure she is, she will also make us pure from inside. I like, you know, remember last time we were learning the divine qualities. And one of the divine qualities was uh, cleanliness. And cleanliness included cleanliness of the body and cleanliness of the soul. So when we are approached, when we are worshipping Tulsi, we become pure from a soul. As a soul, we become pure. Actually, we all are pure, but because we come into this material world and, uh, you know, we, we have so many desires and we carry our sins from the past, so we become impure. But slowly, as we progress in spiritual life, we start chanting and we worship Tulsi, we become originally how we were pure. When we come in this world, we are so pure. Similarly, we become pure by following the process of chanting and worshipping Tulsi. So every part of Tulsi actually, whether it is leaf or whether it is the stem or whether it is the roots, in fact, the sand in which the, you know, the Tulsi plant is potted, even that sand actually is also very pure. There's nothing impure about Tulsi. So that is why we see that in the temples, Krishna is wearing a beautiful garland made of Tulsi. And, you know, we stick Tulsi leaf at the feet of the Lord. And we also know that how uh, Krishna does not accept food. You know, that bhoga that we offer, he does not accept without Tulsi. And then we see that how devotee is wearing Tulsi Mala, it, in, you know, around the neck. And we also see that how many devotees are chanting on the Tulsi beads. So in, how important is Tulsi in our life? We may be not realizing it, but, you know, we must be aware of how special the place of Tulsi is in our life. By seeing her, by touching her, and, you know, by circumambulating around her, as in when we, you know, to take uh, pradakshina around her. We go around Tulsi after offering the lamp. So everything is purifying. Everything purifies us. And it removes, it destroys all our sins. So now many of you who would have visited Iskon temple or maybe any other temple, you would have definitely seen, uh, you know, a proper Tulsi Aarti taking place. You know, do any of, any of you agree? I'm sure many of you would have seen Tulsi Aarti happening in Iskon temple. Any of the Iskon temples, you would have seen Tulsi Aarti happening. So now there is a proper, uh, you know, Things which are required before we start doing Tulsi Aarti in a proper way. So I will uh, share two, three slides with you so that understanding those things become easy. So, uh, to now, today, from now, we are going to learn the process of how to worship Tulsi at home. You don't have to go anywhere. No need whether, you know, whether you're able to participate in the temple arti or not. Because by doing Tulsi arti at home properly, we actually convert our own home into a temple. Our home becomes like a temple. And, you know, having Tulsi, doing Tulsi arti at home in a proper way, we invite all happiness, we invite all auspiciousness in our life. So without wasting time, let's look at each and every item 
So if you want, you, I will definitely be sharing. Uh, I can share the PPTs, but if anybody wants to take a picture from their mobile of the screen, you can do that also so that, you know, you'll know what are the things required because it might take me time to translate the PPT and send it to you. I'll send the pictures in the group also, but anybody wants, take a, they can take a photo of the screen also. I'll send it in the group also, not a problem. Okay, so I'll share the PPT and one one item I'll keep putting it down and sort of can translate at the same time. So the first thing that is required is a mat. M A T like mat can be in any form. I'll show you the picture. Okay, so we don't stand on the floor. We This mat can be any type. It can be of, uh, you know, how I showed you a sample or it can be made of cloth uh, or kusha grass. You have that K-U-S-H-A, kusha grass. So any any type of mat, but then keep it only for your puja. Don't use it. Otherwise, you know, you sit in front of TV and you're watching TV programs by sitting on it. Don't do that. Keep it, keep a mat which is specifically only for uh, doing your puja. Whether you is offering uh, aarti to Krishna or doing Tulsi aarti, keep it specially for mat for this. Okay, so keep it. So that is item number one. A place where we stand on a mat, it should be there for you. So we move on to second item. Okay, so this is also easy, very easily available at home. Uh, basically, we need two clean stools. Uh, one is for keeping the tulsi pot. So suppose you have this tulsi uh, in your balcony and you've kept it on the wall. So, I mean, it's okay, no problem. You can keep it there, but keep another stool next to it so that you can keep your puja plate. And uh, comfortably, you know, you should do Aarti standing there. So it depends on how your setting of your own house is there. So accordingly, you can make adjustment. But we basically, we need two surfaces. One is to keep the tulsi pot. And the other surface is to keep the plate of the puja, right? Okay, so now we move on to the next important things. What do we require actually for the puja? So we have done, we have kept, uh, we kept a ready stool, we are standing on a mat and now we are going to have a plate of things which will be used for doing Tulsi Aarti. So let's have a look at that plate and I'll send you a picture and we'll discuss about it once you see the picture.
Yes, so could everybody have a look at it properly? I'll also send a picture. So we can now discuss about it. Okay. So now, first of all, we need a plate. Usually, we use brass item, you know, uh, uh, that pital in Hindi, we call it pital, that brass thing. That is what is generally preferred. I mean, slowly, you can start buying these things. If they're very expensive, you can use whatever is available at home also. But like, this is the uh, best of, that is how we do it in the temple. This is the, you know, plate, which is, I've taken this picture from a temple worship. So one of the temples in Iskwan who does worship. So I have taken a picture from there. So this is like the ideal situation. This is how we should try, try to be at that level. But if financially you're not able to buy it or you have some difficulty, it's okay. You can use other any other plate also. But this is the material which is preferred. Okay, so first you need a plate. In that plate. Mataji, what is the I name? Think... What is the name of Pital is copper? Uh, Pital is uh, brass. Copper is tamba. So, have you ever seen that cup with that small pethal cup, which, uh, you know, where we have water and... Uh... So, did you see, have you ever, you must have seen it in the temple, that small cup, which has a spoon. You can buy it from any utensil shop. You can show them the picture and, you know, if those who don't have, they should try to. This cup is very, very important. I mean, there is no compromise on this cup. This cup, everybody must have. I'll tell you why it is important. So, plate and all is not so critical, but this cup is very critical. This cup, every one of you must have who's planning to start Tulsi Arti. And this cup should be cleaned every day and filled with drink clear, clean drinking water. And once you bring it for puja, you put few drops of Ganga Jal. Next item, you need a ghee lamp. So, again, uh, that is what is the requirement. But in case if uh, there is anybody who financially cannot afford buying ghee and using it, then you can use some other puja oil. But then generally, we do not use oils when we're talking about Tulsi or Krishna. Even if it's, uh, you know, if it lights for split seconds, even if just a drop of ghee, that is also sufficient. Because you won't be lighting lamp for a very long time. Just for maybe one or two minutes while you're offering your lamp. So, one small ghee dabba, which, is, which should last you for a month. Which should come for around 150, something like that. So, a very small box. But those who can afford, very good. You can nicely put it. No, it's not copper. It is uh, brass. In the chat. Copper is little Maybe red in color. Photo, photo, photo. Photo is, uh, yeah.
Okay. Everybody got it? Okay, so next item. Uh, so uh, one lamp. So now this lamp, which you can see in the photo, actually is from the temple. So this is a very big one and would cost, cost a lot. So you can buy a small one or you can buy a silver lamp or you can do with, uh, you know, steel also. It is fine. The most important element in this plate is the Achman cup, which contains water. That should buy you buy exactly how it is. It's a small one. It won't be very expensive. But you can think of buying it, check it in the market, how much cost it is. Okay. Next item is uh, you need a very small plate where you keep some flowers, four or five flowers. Not many flowers. You know, if you have some flower, flower, uh, pots in your own home, you don't need to buy from the market. You can just pluck flowers from your own pot. And you can just place them in the plate. So in this picture also you would have seen that there is a small plate on which flowers are kept. Okay, so because when we uh, when we are offering uh, Aarti, at that time we pick up the plate and offer it to Tulasi. We don't place the flowers in our hand. We pick up the plate and we offer Okay. Next item is we need agarbatti. Maybe three would be sufficient in a day. I mean, if you're doing both times, then morning three and evening three. If you're doing aarti just once, depending on how much time you have, then three or maybe two agarbatti is also fine. So, Kala, I'll get back to your raised hand. I've seen your hand is raised. I'll come back to you. Uh, let me just finish it. Okay. And the last is the matchbox. So that is not very difficult. And yes, for keeping, once you light the agarbatti, you need a stand also, which is not there in the plate. So you should have a small stand on which you can fix the agarbatti. Right. So that is what is all that is what is required. It is not a very big list. Uh, maybe now because it's new to you all of you. So you will be feeling the many things. But then there are just five items. Matchbox is very simple. Plate. Only thing which you have to work for is that Ajman cup where you have to put water and Ganga gel. Other things you can, I think, arrange from your own house. And slowly you should, uh, you know, once in a year, if you know some festival comes and you want to buy it. So slowly, you know, you should start buying these things for, for Tulsi Maharani. Because that is the ideal situation. Not all of us can afford, but then we can at least try. So now let's have a look at the video once again. Uh, this time we'll be understanding what it all was because many of you won't have understood what is happening in the RD. So let's, it's a three, three minute, 40 second, I think video. Let's run it and then we'll, we'll discuss about it.
Okay, so I have stopped the video in between. Uh, one second. So I've stopped the video in between. So what is actually happening? So yes, the bell list also has a bell. If you're comfortable with ringing a bell uh, and at the same time, it depends on all of you, but also the list should also have a bell. So on the left, so now the first step that we have, now our puja plate is ready. Our Tulsi Marani is ready on the stool and the next stool we have this puja plate ready every morning or evening when you're doing it. So first thing we have to do is we, we First of all, need to clean our hands. So although you would have washed them in your uh, what you know toilet with the soap and everything, but still, when you come here, you again need to purify your hands. So what you do, you uh, take uh, from the spoon. You first of all, you clean your left hand, few drops. Now hold the spoon in the left hand. Now from this spoon, you take some water and put it on your right hand and chant the mantra, Om Keshavai Namaha. So those who can read, otherwise, anyways, Saurav is signing. And then you drink that water. Okay, now again you take water. Now you wash your hands. Again, you take second time, you take water. And this time you say, Om Narayana Namaha. Drink. And again, wash. Drink it. Again, take water and wash it. So you don't need to use your left hand. You just throw that water. It is washed. So because you will be having spoon in your left hand. So you can't do like this. So it, just throw it. So it's clean. So two times. And last you say, Oh, Madhava and Namaha. So three times. So this is the only difficult process which you might feel in the beginning. But slowly you will get used to it. You would have seen many pujaris in the temple. They follow this process whenever they start worshipping. Because this is the way we purify our hands. So, is that little bit clear? I mean, are you able to understand what we are doing? The first step, we have our puja plate ready. And from arch one cup, we wash our hands three times. So, now your right hand is pure. Now, you can take the spoon in the right. Because all puja rituals we do from our right hand. Okay. So, are you all getting confused or are, is, are you able to understand what we are doing? You can just say yes. Yeah, yeah. Clear, clear. Okay. 
So now every time we touch anything in the plate, we need to drop few water, few drops of Ganga Jal. So the what is the first thing we will offer to Tunsi Maharani? You would have seen the video. What is the first thing we will offer? Sorry, Mataji, just for the interpreter. You said yeah. drop the water, drop it on the metal, drop it on the things, drop it on the yeah, ground. Yeah, like see, uh, like in set sticks, there is a piece of wood which is at the bottom, no, which goes inside this. So though there you can drop few water drops. Flowers you can drop. Every time when you pick up. Understanding? Are you getting it? So you will see that when this person who is doing the RT, when he offered incense to sticks, he put some water on the sticks and then he offered. Right. So that is done. So once now you rotate this agarbati or the incense seven times clockwise. And you put it on the stand. Again, we'll just sprinkle some water on our hands. We'll clean it. Which hands, Mataji? Both? Uh, yeah, both. Just take a drop few and just clean your hands. And then you pick up the ghee lamp and you drop few drops on the lamp. At the bottom, not at the key part, where the bottom part, base of it. And you again offer the ghee lamp seven times clockwise. Sorry, Mataji, you put your hand to put that water or you hold it with a spoon and put it? No, with a spoon only. So pick up water from spoon and just sprinkle a little bit. Again, we rotate it seven times. We light it. How oh, sorry? We light it and we uh, we offer it seven times. Okay. Okay. Now, last item is we pick up the flower plate. Again, we, uh, I mean, we clean hands, then we clean the flowers, put some drops on the flowers, and again offer it seven times. And we are done. After that, so all the th all the three things which we had. At the same time, if you can, please keep ringing the bell and with one hand you offer and left hand you ring the bell.
So actually, this process looks very complex. Uh, we are offering only three items and we are only doing it seven times. Only confusion is because of the hand cleaning process, which slowly, slowly, you will get an idea. You start doing it. I mean, even if you commit some mistake in the beginning, Krishna is very kind. Tulsi Manani is very kind. You know, they are full of love. So even if you do some mistake, nobody is going to put you in a jail. Only thing is at least try. Start the process. Okay. There's nothing to get scared about it. Lord corrects all our mistakes. Even if we do, he'll correct it. So no need to get worried about it. Okay. Now, we, uh, we go around Tulsi Maharani four times and we seek forgiveness for whatever offenses we would have done in our entire life or in the previous Janma. Four times we go clockwise. Okay. So, uh, sorry, before we begin, we bow down and take seek blessings. And when we finish the Aarti, we bow down and we seek blessing. That is something I forgot to mention. My apologies. So, you would have seen when the Aarti starts, this person is bowing down and seeking permission, taking blessings from Tulsi Maharani. And then he starts cleaning his hands and offering. And once this four time, uh, you know, going around Tulsi is done, then again he bows down and that finishes our Tulsi Aarti. So this Aarti mantra is there but everything is in Sanskrit and unfortunately I have no means where I can convert. If you all want, I can send you the translated version of that Sanskrit like Bijal is asking in the chat. So you can tell her that we do have, uh, you know, if you want, you can play it on the phone. You can play it on the phone while you are doing Aarti. You can do that. And if you want, I can send you mantra. You can see the translation. Uh, if that is okay, because the entire Aarti is in Sanskrit. Uh, so, no need for, uh, I'll come back to questions people are asking in chat. So, there is no direction when it comes to Krishna. Everything is auspicious. Don't worry about direction. If you start doing it because apartments are not Vastu compliant. They, there is no Vastu in house apartments or houses. So, don't worry about it. Matt also, you can start any time you feel happy about doing it. When you're ready, start doing ERP. Okay, so we'll we'll. Do you want me to finish the uh, video, or we can again play it in the last also, because we have now understood the process. So I don't think we'll be able to do the Ekadashi thing today. We probably will be taking up in the next class. Okay, so. Now, few do's and don'ts. Mother, video, maybe we need to see the video once? Ha! You ask everybody, should we finish seeing the video? Yeah, they already understood, Mataji. No need, apparently. We can send yeah, it in the been, group. You can it's send already it in the, the group. I sent it, it, I sent it yesterday night only. <laughs> So now I am planning to uh, make a similar video where, uh, you know, we'll be focusing on the smaller details, which details are actually not kept in mind, uh, you know, the deaf audience. It goes for the hearing people. So uh, the small things like how to wash hands and uh, how to ready the plate, the small, small things. I am planning to make this video. Uh, I don't think I it will come very soon. I'll take some time and then I'll give it to Saurav and he'll, you know, he'll translate to it interpretation. Then we'll, you know, we'll send the video so that things are clear. But if somebody has understood it, you can immediately start uh, doing the RP. Nobody, there's nothing to, uh, you know, stop you. 
So the last slide uh, that I have is the do's and don'ts, which are very important. Then we can quickly take question answers. So let me finish this slide and then we'll come to questions. So Tulsi Aarti can be done in the morning and evening, both times. Mataji, one in... minute. My battery is gone. I just need to place myself. Okay, sure, sure. Yes, Mataji, we can start. Okay. So Bijal is asking when to spend, how, you know, when, what is the date for Tulsi Puja? So we don't, uh, like how we chant every day. Similarly, we do Tulsi Aarti every day. Have you seen in temples, we do Tulsi Aarti every day? It is, it becomes a part of our life. It is not one or two days. It is every day. We worship Krishna every day. We don't we eat food every day. We take a bath every day. We do food. You know, we go to school office job every day. Similarly, we do Aarti every day. <laughs> right? So, it is not one or two days. It is not a special day. It is every day. Okay. So, Tulsi Aarti has to be done in morning and evening or if you are not comfortable or if you're busy, at least once in a day, please do Tulsi Aarti. You select your convenient time. If both days, then very good. If not, at least once in a day. Try to keep two Tulsi plants, one in your puja room and one in sun and keep on alternating. So that way, uh, Tulsi's life will be better and Tulsi will be near the Lord. That is if possible, okay? If possible. Also, what, what uh, is that rule, Mataji? Keep it in the sun for some days? Yeah, because if the Tulsi is entire day in the altar, in the puja room, how will she get the sun? So one pot in the altar and one pot can be in the balcony. And you keep changing. One day, the sun one can go inside the altar and the sun of sun, altar one can go outside. That is if possible. If otherwise one plant outside in the balcony is also okay. Otherwise one pot is also fine. You at least you start begin from somewhere. Okay. We offer Tulsi at the feet of Vishnu, Krishna, Rama, Narsimhadev. We do not offer it to anybody else. So this has to be very, very clearly understood. Okay. Don't offer to Lord Shiva or not even to Guru and not even to Radharani. We do not offer Tulsi not even to Radharani. Only to Krishna, Vishnu, Rama, Narsimhadev. Okay? So be very careful on those things. Tulsi pot can be made to look beautiful. Ma, this is Chaitanya can... Mahaprabhu? Yes, 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 definitely. You can keep in the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is Krishna only, no? Then you can cover it with a nice beautiful cloth. The pot you would have seen in the temple, even in this video, you would have seen simple cloth. If you can't stitch it, just wrap any 
cloth. That's it. If you cannot stitch it. If stitching means very good. Don't touch Tulsi after sunset. Okay. We do not, uh, whenever we pluck Tulsi leaf, we please bow down, we take permission that, oh mother, can I take one leaf? So, and don't shake the entire plant when you pick Tulsi. Take it, uh, cut, the, you know, pick out the leaf very delicately. You bow down, take permission and you pluck one or two leaves. Don't use scissors on Tulsi. We don't trim tulsi. If it if it becomes very big, just tie a, a rope around it. But we don't cut. We don't use scissors on tulsi. Okay. Then uh, if your tulsi has died, if it has dried, then either you bury it in the sand or you uh, let it flow in some river. Whatever is convenient to you, you can do that. Ah, of course, the seeds which come on the top, which you call manjari, they can be plugged and they can be used for making more tulsi pots or it can also be offered to the Lord. So the seeds, you know, the manjari which comes, that can be, also, that can be utilized for offering to the Lord. And lastly, please do not use soap or cold drinks or medicines which has tulsi. Because in that process, they crush the tulsi. And as devotees, we do not even use our teeth for tulsi. For, uh, okay, so don't use any soap. Don't use any medicines. And don't use any kind of, uh, um, you know, cold drink or drinks which has tulsi. Some people will tell you that, you know, they has medicinal property. It has medicinal property. But as devotees, we don't. Uh, we don't use Tulsi for medicine. We only use it for worshipping. Because we love Krishna and Krishna loves Tulsi. So that is why we use Tulsi. So that's the end of our uh, class. Uh, we have another 10 minutes. We can quickly. Otherwise, please do not worry with your questions. We are going to have a next class and we'll continue because definitely you will have a lot of doubts. You will have a lot of questions. And... Uh, so take your time, take it easy, watch the video again and again and next class again you can ask me questions. Start, uh, you know, buying things which are required for the puja and you can pray to Krishna that may he gives you the strength and the time to do Tulsi puja. So you must start, begin with a prayer to Krishna and pray to Tulsi and it will definitely happen. So we can quickly take some questions. Otherwise, all the questions we'll finish exclusively in the next class. And we'll take up some Ekadashi things also, which I wanted to discuss. So, Saurav can see the new people can be mad. Why? Because we do not stand on the floor. We are all our positivity, which we collect from Puja, is lost on the ground. So, mat is very important. We don't stand on the floor and do Puja. In the temples, you would have seen the pujaris never stand on the floor. They always stand on some mat. So, mat is very important. Any mat, cotton, woolen, or any kind of mat, but clean and which is used only for puja. We can begin questions. Yeah, please keep Sorry, your questions short. Question, Mataji, uh, just to clarify, you saying that the mat is important because if you don't use the mat, the puja, the benefit goes away, is sucked by the ground. Right, right. The, the earth sucks all our benefit. All the piety is energy, is all positive energy goes down at, at the ground.
keep your questions short, all of you, please, so that we can attend to more questions. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Another one, Mataji. So the ghee lamb, you saying it's expensive. So I found ghee, okay. and this is uh, cheap. Hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Oh no. So oh no. So she found ghee. Ha. So that also you can. But that is I. I feel that is expensive. Fifty but rupees only. Yeah, yeah. So that can be done. No problem. So the buds are all you can translate. Some the people are confused. The cotton is already soaked in the ghee. You don't have to do it. You just pick up, pick it up, and place it in the. Yeah, Mataji, yes, that is it. Mm. Hmm. Please send the video on the WhatsApp, Mataji, and all the mantras which you were saying. This is the first time we are learning, we didn't know. Please do share the video and the mantras on the WhatsApp group. Video already I shared yesterday. Why you didn't see? It's there in the WhatsApp group. Okay, Hare Krishna Mataji. Okay, Please the mantras Krishna. also Mataji. Mantras I'll mantras I'll say. Mantras I'll say. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I have to see at home. Mat, I don't. So I had not been using a mat, but I'll buy it, Mataji. Okay, good, good, and good. So at don't... night, Mataji, I think uh, uh, the plant, I think, uh, to see dried away, so it, it kept you can on buy happening. a new. You are you keep two three times. So you have to maintain a lot of cleanliness around Tulsi. You know, you can't put dry, dirty clothes around her. You can't go near Tulsi when, you know, women in the house are having periods. And, you know, our maid servant, sometimes she'll go and keep dirty things there. So with Tulsi, you need to maintain a lot of cleanliness in the house. So be very careful when it comes to Tulsi that cleanliness is very important around Tulsi. Try all these cleaning things and then you see whether Tulsi remains or not. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Namaskar. Hare Krishna. So chanting Mataji. What happened? Sorry, Mataji. I think some internet problem. He couldn't see me. Oh. Hare Krishna. Mm, I was late, Mataji. Sorry for that. I joined 4.30. Okay. Then Tulsi... Uh, to see it man. Sunday we are not supposed to Monday to Saturday we can Sunday we shouldn't do some people said Mataji, no see, nothing Monday like rest. that we can do no, no. what's only on Dwadashi Our next day from to, next year Vikadashi we don't touch we don't offer lamp we, I probably I'll tell you in the next class so we don't touch Tulsi or after next day of Vikadashi
Sunday, it's okay. Sunday, you can do. At least in ISKCON, we don't do it on, we have no restrictions for Sunday. In temple also, we have RTUs on Sunday. Hare Krishna. Sorry, Hare Krishna. We'll see. We'll see, no? Honey, maybe we shouldn't put it in the food. We should put it in some kind of an arti, Mataji. Pani mein, jaise hum kabi kabar aise sun. Acha, pani dete hain. Ha, we surya ko to nahi dete hain, Tulsi. We don't put. No, don't, don't do that. Jab surya ko jal dete hain, surya is uh, we don't consider it as Krishna himself. So don't put Tulsi while offering uh, water to surya. Showing the Tulsi Mataji in Kekar Kebaha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good, Mataji. Yeah, if it's better if you keep it on some kind of a stool because then your feet and all the chappals will not touch. It should be kept little in a neat place. In separately, where your dirty clothes don't touch, keep it in a corner somewhere where you know we are moving and our clothes and all should not, yeah, keep it on a little higher level. Hare Krishna. Yeah, Mataji, we do every day, right? Yes, every day. We have to do it every day. Every day. What happened, sorry? Uh, uh, I'm spotlighting people, Mataji, and asking them, but see, they're on the phone. It is taking time for them to see, right? Uh, uh, you can't see the people, right, Mataji? Yeah, yeah, I can see. I'm also thinking the new people, probably one Krishna girl is there. I Ved saw Nutan, Mataji. That's why I put her. She's uh, uh, okay, okay. I'll just go to speaker view again. Huh? Nutan is there, yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Six o'clock in the morning. Get flowers. Okay. Okay. And then I'll keep them. And I'll take a bath. I mean, I'll just wash. And then I'll take some water and clean all the things. And then take the tulsi. Undo all that clean. Thing. And then tulsi, we pluck it. And then give it to Krishna. And then I take a bath. Flowers. Huh? No, no. I put Tulsi flowers on Tulsi. I put it on Krishna. I make garlands and I put it on his head. Put it on the garland. Can I do that? On, yes. On Tulsi, you can put flowers. You can make put a garland on Tulsi. That is so nice. That is nice.
after the aarti in the morning evening again i'll do the aarti and then uh, what to do after dry leaves mata ji in the morning put it in the put it in a moving river or moving water body or something how like many that. leaves will you have to sulsi leaves how many sulsi leaves will you have many of them are there or few of them are there Many are there, na? Many. Yeah, then you bury. Then you put it in the in the keep a pot of mud and bury it in that. Because you might not be able to go to water and uh, you know let it flow. Because few of them means you can eat it. You can distribute to your family and they can eat. But if lot of them, then you bury it in the sand. we can give to the family and everyone to eat no mata ji flowers yeah, yeah, and definitely. also we can put yes definitely if if it is offered to krishna then you should give everybody like a prasad so that everybody can that's how i do in my house whatever i put it at krishna's feet i give it to my or narsimha dev i give it to my family members and we we eat it we have vishal one new person we can take a question Hare Hare Krishna. Krishna. That would be the last question, Mataji. Yes, yes, yes. We can tell others. We can have to join next time. Mm -hmm. Namaskar, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm at my office. we'll see there's something new i have doubt i have a question we eat mm. it we don't chew it yeah. we put we it don't in our mouth it. and then we, we drink it. water can okay. like a tablet you can have possible possible sorry that's possible to eat tulsi yeah we do it whatever we like when we offer bhoga to krishna we always keep a tulsi leaf on the food right i don't know if in your family you're doing it or not so that tulsi what do you do you have to eat that tulsi you know you don't throw so you eat the prasad and you eat that tulsi also so like so like how you do a tablet you you roll you make a small tablet of tulsi and you put it in your mouth and drink water and that that's it it goes in so what is the question mata ji is 508 ha huh? it is 508 mata ji yes 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 last just so you can what is the question any question i think this was what it was mata ji and he is saying okay, something okay. second fine, fine 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 so all of you please join next sunday we are going to continue this session and sorry many people's questions are unanswered please keep your questions and uh, we will definitely take all questions those who want to connect directly by typing it in any language as i always say hindi marathi bengali gujarati any language you want to type and send it to me please send it i can google translate and i can reply to you 
many devotees talk to me in their native language and I reply to them in their uh, mother tongue by translating it on Google. So we can do that. Okay. And uh, last thing from my side, I am expecting a video from Uma regarding chanting. She promised last week she will be sending a video about how to do Japa for the newcomers. So Uma has not sent it as yet. So she had promised that she will be sending one video. So please make that video of how to do chanting. And uh, please, I am waiting for that video. Make it and send it to me. Yes, 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 Mataji, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, do thank it. you so much and uh, hope uh, all of you start the process by buying new all these items and we'll connect again, we'll clarify all doubts. The mantras, I'll send it in the group. All these three mantras of cleaning hands and you please watch the video again and again and I'm also trying to make a video which is uh, which will focus on these small, small details. So I'm sure you'll have a lot of doubts, but it is very easy. Don't worry. You'll all be, will become expert in doing Tulsi Aarti very soon. So don't worry. And we'll catch up next week. Till then, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Saurabh. Thank you, Rasarati. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Shula Prabhupada. Ki Jai. Please send your questions in different languages. I'll reply to them. Hare Krishna.